Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be covering how to create a custom title in Inkscape for OpenShot Video Editor. Uh, this is actually a very easy process once you know how to do it. Um, and we're going to start by just simply opening an existing title from OpenShot. And in order to do that, you have to you have to find a where your titles are. Uh, so for my distribution, they're placed here. User share, pie shared, open shot titles, 16.9. So for this aspect ratio, if you just search in your file system for 16 underscore 9, you should be able to find them. There's also for 4 underscore 3. Or you could search for one of the specific, uh, more specific names. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a very common um, title that uh, I have. And what's that? What that does for me is simply get me the proper dimensions for the title screens and not a whole lot more than that. So this custom title is going to be for my free CAD videos. And what I've been doing uh, is just something very simple, but I get tired of doing it over and over again, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to change that to free CAD. Uh, I'm going to move it. I've been just doing uh, just a giant free CAD uh, logo on the top there. So nothing special. And then I usually have a subtitle as to what, you know, uh, you know, a general idea of what it is I'm doing. And I like that to be uh, a little bit bigger than normal. And then I usually have two more that, um, so I usually have a four line title. I don't know if that's good video or not, but um, so I now, so now I have my four line title and this one usually tends to be uh, let's just make I'll leave them these you these usually tend to be a little bit bigger for me because I think of them as um, a little more important than this but not not super important so let's just I'll just make them a hundred make that one a hundred and make this one a hundred okay so that, that didn't take so this is the basic concept as to what as to what I do for for my videos currently and you know, I probably need to up my title game a little bit and this is how I'm doing it you know if I if I get this in place I'll, t I'll get more consistent titling instead of it being a little different every time I do it so now I'm just gonna simply uh, save that as and I'm gonna call it FreeCAD and let's just, I'll do it FreeCAD underscore one dot SVG Oops, there we go um, so uh, so I do have a little permission problem there. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that to my um, to my desktop first, okay? And we'll call that FreeCAD underscore one dot SVG. So I'll have to copy that with a sudo command to the, to the other directory there. Um, now I have that directory listed here, so I'm going to copy that. So I found this using the find command, just like I had, I had mentioned. So I've got that in my clipboard, and I'm going to bring up a terminal uh, to pseudo copy that or pseudo move it. So I should be. I, I need to first. Let me just move to my desktop and just make sure it's there. So it's that free cat SVG. So now I'm just going to do a pseudo. Let's do pseudo move uh, free cat. I tab to complete that line. So I didn't have to type the whole thing. And I'm just gonna paste in what I copied before. So that should do it for me. Just wants my sudo password, my user password for sudo, and that's it. So yep, yeah, so you see that appeared now in uh, in my open shot titles. Now let's get it go over to open shot and see if that see if it picks up. I think I'm gonna need to reload it before I'm gonna before that shows up, but let's see. Yeah, see that nope, didn't show up yet. So now let's reload it and and try. So as we learn the um, uh, reloading it, it doesn't list by itself. Um, so I'm not sure if that's a permission problem or that there's a configuration file somewhere for OpenShot. Let's check both. So let's first try, and you know this is how uh, how I explore. I just um, I try to work through each problem, and you learn a lot that way. So if I do an ls l, I see that. The free cat is owned by me, so let's let's change that to root. Uh, I think it's colon. I can't. I can never remember. And 
tab for completion. So we're changing that to, oops, going to have to do that as sudo. There we go. So now it's, now we should see it's owned by the correct person. So let me just, uh, let's take a quick peek and see if it, I don't think this is going to be actively updating it. Nope. Um, let's reload it and try that. So we're going to learn together how FreeCAD how FreeCAD lists its titles. And I'm guessing I think there's a configuration file. I think this doesn't just look through and and decide. I think there's a, a config listing all those. So let me go find that config file and uh, I'll report back. Okay, I'm back. I had to dig around a little bit, but I found out what you have to do. Basically, you have to create a link in each of these folders. Uh, 4 underscore 3 and 16 underscore 9 and you can see this is the directory here Python for me it's Python 2.7 so you're gonna to have to find these link folders in your distribution you'll see they have a link to each one of those there's my new one there they, they have and they have a link to these files here um, in this and this is I'll show you the version in a section in a, sec, in, a, in a moment so these are the actual files here um, that the other ones are linked to. So it seems like you have to have a link to each one, one in 4.3 and one in 16.9 for, for op OpenShot to detect the file as a title, um, which is fine. So now you can see, now you can see when you go into the new title and you go to your list here, there's, there's my free CAD and it, it opens it up. Now, um, it looks it looks compressed at first, but then when you go to create the new title, I'm just I'm just going to go ahead and OK through these things and hit apply. You'll see I've got the correct aspect ratio now, even though in that title creation screen it doesn't look correct. It it shows correct correctly uh, in the video. So whatever you can add in an SVG. So now, um, so if I like. For example, if I go into Edit Title Inkscape, um, whatever you can add here, you can, uh, you know, you'll be able to see and um, you'll be able to save as a template. So you can get creative. And what OpenShot does is it just looks for the text box and says, "Up, oh, I need to fill something in in the text box." So hopefully, this will help me get my videos more. Uh, clean neat and consistent and I hope it helps you too if you like my channel please subscribe uh, like the video so that others can find it and share it with your friends thank you so much have a great